Hi guys, my name is Coach Shadow Dogs the Bomb, Bob Bill for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News room update where today we're going to be talking about Blackpool Pleasure Beach. You saw the first video today from Shaman at Gardaland speaking about the potential removal of that coaster. Now we're going to be talking about Valhalla's refurbishment because a post on social media with the removal of opening in 2021 on the bottom of the construction fence has caused some unrest and potential. Um, questions are being raised as to whether this is opening next year or whether it's possibly been delayed until 2022. In my opinion, you know, I think it's just, you know, I think it's just removing it to make the wall look nicer. But, you know, we still have to raise these questions, raise the concerns, etc. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it is delayed till 2022. But again, they're working hard on it right now, so they're still reimagining the ride. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it is still next year anyway. Uh, but it, it's a good time now to talk about it while we're talking about this potential development as well. So before we get started on this little update on Valhalla, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And for now, let's get started and let's talk about Valhalla. Long live the gods. So of course Valhalla is getting refurbished for 2021, potentially even further into 2022 because of what's happened. Now of course the opening 2021 writing has been removed from the wall. Many people, including myself, think it'll just look nicer without it on, but I think many people are raising questions whether it is going to be 2021 or it's been delayed till 2022 with the removal of this writing. So this is a very interesting story because, you know, obviously you're going to raise these questions, raise these debates. In my opinion, I think it's still happening in 2021. I think they're doing some loads of work already, so I think it's long, lay, long may continue. And, you know, I think it's just a case of, you know, just keeping with the schedule, keeping with the time, and it'll be ready. It'll be ready for next year, in my opinion. I think I'm, I'm guaranteed it'll be ready for next year um, at some point. But it's a good time as ever to talk about it because you sort of think, well, what's going to happen with it? I mean, is it going to have a new soundtrack? Is it going to have a brand new uh, name? I think there was rumours, actually, on different forums and fan pages and things like that. There was rumours of it having a brand new name or something to do with the name, like a change or something. And many people were like, you know what, I think it, I was looking around on, on forums and fan pages and it was like, you know what, if there is going to be a change to the name, it'll be like a new tagline or something. And I, even I was putting my prediction, I was like, it's going to be changed to something like Valhalla Voyage of the Gods or something. So with this potential rumour of a change to the name, this is really exciting because I think they're going to be making a hell of a lot of wholesale changes. And I'm not talking little changes. You look at the Valhalla refurbishment back in 2012. And you look what they did there, brand new rock facade, new scene, takes some scenes out, a new bridge, new exit bridge, um, new human dryers, a new on-ride photo booth. Um, all these changes here and there, just changes to make the ride look nicer, feel nicer, operate better. And over time, again, those changes, some of the changes inside have not worked. They haven't worked 100% of the time. So they're making these changes now, they're making the boats less wet, so you get less wet on the ride, which is fair enough, because you do get absolutely soaked on Valhalla. Um, and, you know, they're making some big changes, they're making changes to the sound, possibly changes to the soundtrack maybe, to the name, um, to the inside, they're you know, changing some stuff around, you know, at stations being redone, so there's a lot of bit, I think the changes for this, for the next year, this refurbishment, is probably bigger in terms of what changes they're making than the 2012 refurbishment. They're just adapting stuff and then they're making wholesale changes to the whole facade of it and the station and the name and the, possibly the soundtrack. Um, so they're making even bigger changes than they did back in 2012, which is it's lovely to see. It's lovely to see they're gonna try and keep this operating. Because um, we know the operating costs are probably gonna be extremely high for Valhalla, especially with Blackpool's budget. So, you know, this is a high operating ride and it no doubt it's gonna it's going to be better operative when it reopens, hopefully next year. Um, but I'm a big fan. I think if it is going to have a brand new name, like a brand new tagline to the name or something, I'd be very happy about it. New soundtrack, I'd be happy about that. Because uh, I think it'd be nice to update it, even though I do miss the old soundtrack. Um, station work being done. I like that change. I like the station having some work done to it. So again, big fan. And overall, it's going to be a voyage to look forward to next year, hopefully. So there we go. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. I thought I'd just share my thoughts on the little change on social media recently and sp speak about the refurbishment a bit more as well. Uh, good, good time as any to talk about it. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, keep up to date with more. A couple of videos still to come today, guys, uh, from Namazu at Volcania and also the Six Flags Parks as well. Thank you very much. My name is Coast Child. Cope living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill day.